Ever wondered how Delhi Metro tokens and smart cards work? How does the gate know your balance? And what's actually inside these tiny chips? Let's break it down, from entry to exit, and explore the tech behind India's largest metro network. So without wasting any time, let's get started. But what is inside a metro token? Metro tokens are small, round plastic disks, but inside, they contain something powerful, an RFID chip. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. This chip doesn't need a battery. It gets powered wirelessly when placed near an RFID reader, like the one at Metro Gates. How RFID Work RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. It's a technology used for wireless communication between two components. RFID tag, found in Metro tokens and cards, contains microchip, stores unique ID and data, like entry station, card balance, antenna coil, used to receive and send signals. It's passive, meaning it has no battery. It gets powered wirelessly by the reader. RFID reader, installed at Metro gates, constantly emits radio frequency waves. When an RFID tag comes close, the radio waves power the tag by electromagnetic induction, trigger the tag to transmit its data back to the reader. The reader captures this data and sends it to the Metro's backend system. Communication process, the reader and tag exchange data in less than a second. Data is transferred securely using encrypted protocols. Based on the data, the system grants or denies access, calculates fare for cards, logs entry exit times, how Metro tokens work. Here's how it works. At the ticket counter or kiosk, you select your destination. The system writes the station info onto the RFID chip inside the token. This is the data that has been feeded. Token type ID, entry station code, entry time and date, journey validity period, fare zone or distance info, unique token ID, security slash authentication data, status flag. When you tap the token at the entry gate, the reader verifies your starting station and lets you in. At the exit station, the system reads the token again, calculates the fare based on distance, and allows exit. Note, tokens are single use and must be returned at the end. The system disables them after one trip. What's inside a Metro card? Metro cards are more advanced. They also use RFID technology, but have more memory and secure data storage. They follow the MIFARI standard, a type of contactless smart card developed by NXP Semiconductors. A microchip stores your balance and travel history. An antenna coil helps it communicate with Metro readers. Here's what happens when you use a Metro card. Tap at entry gate. The card reader reads your current balance. Entry station logged. It stores the entry station and time. Tap at exit gate. The system calculates the fare and deducts it directly from the card's balance. Offline transactions. Delhi, Metro uses an offline system. This means fare deduction happens right at the gate. Without needing internet or central server access in real time, it's faster and more reliable for high traffic usage. How balance updates and recharges work. Recharging a card is simple. You can use the official Delhi Metro Rail app, online payment portals, or recharge machines at stations. When you recharge online, it doesn't reflect immediately. You must tap your card at the Add Value Machine, AVM, in the Metro station to sync the balance. This keeps the card system semi-offline and avoids network delays. Metro cards are encrypted using secure keys. The gate readers authenticate the card using these keys to prevent cloning or tampering. Plus, entry-exit mismatch or misuse leads to fines or alert signals in the system. Behind the scenes, central system. At the back end, all gates are connected to a central automated fare collection, AFC system. It logs entry and exit time station usage statistics, card recharges. This data helps Delhi Metro in planning capacity, maintenance, and improving user experience. So next time you tap your card or token, remember, there's smart tech working silently to make your ride smooth and efficient. 
So I hope you have learned something new today. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.